the alcohol thing was interesting because I was a club promoter for a decade and a half, but I got toward the end of my twenties and realized that all of the personal development things I wanted to do seemed to be held back by me electing to ruin 36 or 48 hours, depending on how hard I went every couple of weeks. And, uh, it was very, very useful for me. I found it an unbelievably productive. I was very focused. I had great consistency and I actually preferred being sober to going back drinking. Whereas with alcohol, there's an assumption, oh my God, there must be something wrong because that's how ingrained it is into the culture. That assumes that people who drink a lot are interesting. <laughs> and in my experience, yeah, that is actually the opposite. They have a group of people that they go out and get wrecked with. They do not have a community of people that are really interesting to them. If you, if the only way that you can hang around with your friends is to get drunk, to sedate yourself so that they actually seem interesting, that's not the group of friends for you. Secondly, I think that you can periodize these things. So I would do six months of sobriety, usually from the start of the year or maybe just before Christmas, because you can get through the hardest bit, which is the Christmas period when your willpower is at its highest, as opposed to at the very end where you go, ah, I'll just finish it a little bit. Um, and I tell you something else, resetting your alcohol sensitivity mm. is so fantastic because lots of the bad effects come from the overconsumption. So if you make yourself more sensitive, you can have a little bit of a buzz on and not feel so bad the next day. 